Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for just a little bit while I get the last minute touches here. I think my camera is still placed in a good spot. It tipped over earlier, so I wasn't sure if that was still the good spot or not. So I've been playing around with it. I'll wait and see who all is on first. I'll wait a little bit. Hi, Kelly. Hope you've had a good day. Mine surprisingly wasn't too bad. Hi, Bailey. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. So, if you didn't see my live from last night when I was testing the lighting and the uh, sound, I took all of this glittery stuff, sparkly stuff, off of the form so I could make my gnome. The gnome that I am doing tonight is a Halloween version of this one. Hi Danny. And so this is what I ended up with after I took all the sparkly stuff off. And all I'm going to do is put a chunky yarn over top of it. I could have left it with that one, but I didn't want the shiny stuff. I, I wanted to pretty much make it my own. And a lot of people have been wondering how to use this form or how to add their own yarn to it. It's pretty simple since they have the little tabs on the side. I always start with this part here because that's the most complicated part. So I'm going to go ahead and just start. I'm just going to wrap this around. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer too. There's a little part here and I kind of weave it through so it stops and then I will take it over to this side oops this side and grab one of those tabs then I will come back over to the other side and grab that tab and I just go back and forth back and forth and then I ended up getting this here so see this part here is done and then there's little tabs on both sides here. So I'll work my way across and end up going to this. When I get up to here, I can just hide it through in order to get back to this point so I can go across and do the top. So I'm going to just set this on my table. I know I said I was going to put down a cloth or something. I didn't get that far. But I do have a little plate so that'll kind of help I think so I'm just gonna catch the little tabs some people might not like this part especially if they have big hands that little corner is a little tricky But I'm just going and, I don't know, can you see that with the, I'll try doing it this way. So then I, this tab right here, I'm going to come down and catch it, go around it, and then I'm going to go around, and then I'm going to catch this tab. So you're just going back and forth. And once you've done one, it'll be a breeze after that.
I really like how these gnomes end up turning out. And I'll have yarn left over. It does not take a full skein in order to do this. I bet you one of those skeins could probably do two and a half of these. Okay, so now I have finished both of that both sides and then in order to get back into this corner I'm just going to bring my yarn down to there and then go in between like in that corner so there's actually two tabs you can only see one tab right now you can see this tab here the other tab is right here next to it you'll put that yarn in between and that'll help keep it in place. Nicole, that is awesome. I am so glad. This one is going to be Halloween themed. I figured since the holidays coming up. And I don't know if you caught my live last night. I cut the inside part out. So it just kind of looks like this and it has an open area. I'm going to make this one into a dream catcher. I'm going to probably fill this, just wrap yarn probably around the bottom for the, the base. And then this part's going to have a dream catcher in it with a spider. So it looks like a spider web, but these forms are so versatile. You can use them for anything. I'm really glad that that you've made some. You should show me pictures. Send me pictures of the ones that you've done. So I'm just weaving back and forth. I don't know how your guys' day went, but mine, I was really excited about coming home because <laughs> I wanted, I really want to see how this one's going to turn out. And it was a good day at work, so it wasn't, it wasn't the normal stress. It was a pretty good day. We need those once in a while. So I'm just about done. As you can see, it doesn't take long. Okay, now I also want to show you this because every once in a while in a skein of yarn, it will have a knot tied in it. That's just because the manufacturer ran out of yarn or something and had to tie a knot in order to get as much as they need on that skein. With this, it's not going to show. It's very easily hidden. Normally I would freak out, but this form is so forgiving. So even though it's gonna be, as you can see, on the top part of mine instead of in the back, all that I have to do is tuck, tuck those ends to the back. So now it's in the back and no one's going to see that that was spliced together. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you too. Bailey, I'm making one of those gnomes. Um, I'll show you a picture again. So remember this one? 
I have a video for it on my page. Um, it's going to be just like this, except it's going to be Halloween themed. It's going to have a black hat, purple and black flowers, and little spiders on it. I think it's going to look really cute. And I really like that people are liking my videos and they like watching them. I was so nervous in the beginning. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, to do it. <laughs> okay, so now I've reached the end. See how that is looking so cute? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this off. I'm going to plug in my, I can either tie it or I can hot glue it. I prefer using my hot glue. It's not one to plug in. There we go. Okay. I'll set that there. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm, I love doing these videos. And as long as somebody wants to know how to do something, I am more than willing to share how I've done a project. And on those other pages, like the Dollar Tree page, I was on one, they would not let me share videos or promote or tell people that, hey, I'm doing a video on my page. They didn't want me doing any of that. But this one, Dollar Tree one, posted my vid they let me post the video and I had put on there deleted it if it's not okay because I don't want to go against their rules but people really love to see how the how to uh, go about it and everything so I'm just going to take a little bit of my hot glue put that in here and then that's going to keep that little bit from unraveling I lost thing of glue. There we go. So, that's all done there. The next part I'm going to do is add the beard. And I kind of did some of the prep last night while I was checking my lighting and everything. Um, I already put together his nose. And it's just one of those little water squishy balls. From the Dollar Tree, it comes in a package of four. And then one of their washcloths. And it was a package of four as well. So, I mean, that can make four noses with those two packages. So, I went and I did that last night. I covered it with the with the washcloth. And then I just wired it. You could use rubber bands. And then I just snipped off the extra. Hi, Kimmy. And then the the mop, I took the the stick off of there, and I need to show you this. I thought I was gonna have to unscrew everything, but it was so simple. So this is how it looks, and I thought I was gonna have to pop this off or whatever. You know, in order to get this part for the beard. Watch what I figured out. All that you got to do is you pull it. It'll come right out. Very easy peasy. And it only takes one mop. I thought I was going to need two for each of the gnomes, but it only took one. And then after I had this left, I kept thinking, what can I use that for? Because I really don't want to throw it away. It's nice and sturdy. So I thought, well, I could put two of those together, add the sticks to them, because the stick will still screw in there. And I could put it, hang it like on a curtain rod and dangle stuff from it. So they're kind of 
helping me but not helping me because there's not really a whole lot that I can throw away <laughs> because I can save everything for other crafts. So I'm going to put that there. And if you think of anything else to use these for, let me know because I am totally interested in what else they could be used for because there's a little space there. I don't know. I could probably hang a dish towel from it or something. I don't know. But love ideas. If you have any, let me know. So back to our, our lovely craft. I also did, did the braids last night for his mustache. And then I kind of just lined up. I kind of cheated. Here I said I wasn't going to do any crafts last night, but I got everything ready. So I lined everything up to where I kind of know where I want to place it on this hat. Let me move this a little bit. So here's the bottom of the hat. And I know I want it to be, I don't want it to go all the way out to the ends. So I kind of smushed it, figured where I want it to go. Now all that I got to do is put the glue there and put that down. And these I always do last before the nose and the nose the nose will hide these little ends because at first I I did this part and I went oh shoot I don't know how I'm gonna add those braids because I really wanted to add them and boy that nose covers quite a bit of it Oh, I could use those, those things to hang the dream catchers. Good idea. Bailey, what are you wanting me to show you? I'm going to start putting some glue. And I'm just being very generous with it. And I normally go two at a time and then just lay it in the glue. Bailey, am I going too fast for you? I am so glad that you guys are logged on and are able to see this. It goes together pretty fast. And if you have any strings from your from your glue, they just pull right off of there. Oh, the yarn I used is just a really big, chunky yarn. I ended up getting it from Walmart. Our Dollar Tree does not carry yarn. Um, and I work at Walmart. So... The best place for me to get my yarn is from Walmart because I can swipe my discount card. But they have this really big, thick, chunky yarn. The other one, I use the same type. And I don't know what all colors they had. I would have them all if I could. But I've already got tons of yarn. Ask my husband and my kids. They all know. <laughs> and speaking of yarn, today while I was at work and I was having to wear my, my mask, 
I kept thinking, what can I do for my next, my next live? I am thinking of doing the ear extenders in the back to help relieve your ears from your mask. So I'm thinking I'm going to crochet some of those in a live so people can see how they're done. And if they want to make any, if they know how to crochet or anything, or they want to learn, I'll do it on there. Christine, you are very welcome. And see how this is just, it's coming together so cute. I've had so many people ask me, you know, to make some of those ear extenders. And they want to know how it's done because they want to do them on their own. And so I figured today when... I didn't have mine. I left it at home. So I was using my ears to hold up my mask and my ears were bugging me today. Okay, Bailey, I will slow down for you, okay? And I will do a recap that way that way we know exactly what what's going on. So first I covered up this form with that yarn, the big bulky yarn that I got from Walmart. Yeah, boy, if I if I kept going at that speed, I probably would have been done in five more minutes because this thing is such a quick, easy craft. After I got all done with that, I ended up putting hot glue here at the very bottom of my hat. And then I ended up going two strands at a time. I was gluing down. So now that that's glued, it looks something like this. And I could leave it like this if I wanted to, but I want his beard to be a little bit more full. So I'm going to turn him back around and see where I want to place just a few more, a few more of the strands, so his beard looks a little bit more full. Oh, Bailey, you're wanting one of these? I have a lady that wants to buy one from me. So I suppose I could make them and sell them. I have to get more of the, more of these hats. <laughs> I only bought six. So I'll buy some more. I'll see, I'll see how many they have. Okay, so I know where I want to place the rest of them. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right where I'm wanting to put those. It's a pretty forgiving craft, too. I love making these. Actually, I like doing all kinds of crafts, pretty much. I like using my hands. So all I'm doing is gluing these last bits where I want them. I kind of left space in the center because that's going to have the nose and the, the braids. I'm 
So I'm just going to find out where I want that nose to sit. And then I will glue down. down those braids. It's coming together pretty good, guys. Pretty quick. And if you guys make, make some of these, show me pictures or your craft. Give me some ideas. So now all I'm going to do is put a big blob of glue and put his nose in place. And I'll probably end up smushing it so I can tuck any of the wispies that are showing that I don't want to show. He's turning out so cute. And if you glue your fingers, try not to burn yourself. I stuck my fingers in the glue. I do that probably every craft that I use hot glue. If you use a lower temp one, it won't burn you. It won't burn you so bad. So as soon as this dries just slightly, I'm going to turn him around and show you what I've got so far. I'll move some of the wispies. And don't worry, I'm not done yet. You'll still have a little bit left of me in this live, so... I like how that turned out. Kind of looks like a western one, doesn't he? <laughs> what do you guys think so far? These would be really cute gifts, too. For Christmas, you could use red yarn, make it into a Santa Claus. Or even if you made these sides, if you did this one color and this green, you could even make an elf. These forms are so cute. I really don't want to sell them out of these, though. I want other people to be able to do the crafts. But I could easily, <laughs> easily buy all of their forms because I would find a use for them. I would gift them out for Christmas birthdays. You can use them for pretty much anything. From this top, I plan on hanging a little white piece of yarn and hanging a spider next to it. Danny, I'll have to watch you later. <laughs> I like watching your cake, your cake videos. So then this, I, I always say the entire project is fun, but I love adding all the embellishments. I don't know if you can see much on there. I'll move it back a little bit more. There we go. So I ended up getting these, these flowers at the Dollar Tree. I love that these have eyeballs. I'm an optician, so I gravitate towards 
anything that has eyes on it. And then those, those things of flowers had these little branches and spiders. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down some of the flowers. I love how it looks when the flower is in the corner of the hat. But you can pretty much do it any any way you want. If you wanted to, you could put it right smack dab in the center. Or one on each side. Do the whole thing with flowers if you wanted to. And that paper plate I was using earlier to show underneath the form, I'm putting that underneath my glue gun to catch all of the, the extras. I always try to use everything I can. I really like how this is starting to look. Hi, Sarah. I'm doing the finishing touches on here. I'll probably recap because there's quite a bit more people. So I took one of these Dollar Tree witchy hats. I took these off. They just peel right off. Pretty simple. I have one that, I, that I'm that i saving because I thought maybe I could even put that up on, on this one. And then I just took all this sparkly stuff off. Matter of fact, I might have that. Yeah. So actually, I could put that on there. I'll see what you guys. I'll show it to you guys later and see if you if I should put it on there. But after I took all that stuff off of that form, I just wove around all the the little pegs on the side with my chunky yarn, and then that made it look like that. And then I took my mop apart, it only takes one mop, and I glued that to that bottom edge. And then I braided, this was six, six uh, strips, and then I just braided them. I gathered them on both ends, or one end, and then I braided it, and then gathered it after I had the length I wanted. And then this is just one of those little squishy balls. It comes in a package of four, covered in a washcloth that came in a package of four. And then of course I'm adding all my, my embellishments from it. I love to craft. I would do it every day. Um, a lot of times I do just kind of depends on how much time I've got and I love that people are wanting to see and watch me do them so I'm just adding some of these little branches or whatever that came with those those flowers Then 
this is the part where I kind of get confused because I like it both ways. So should I put a spider there on one of on those little branches or should I put the spider up here? I'm going to have one dangle from the tip of the hat. And then should I do two spiders in the beard or just one? Give me your guys' input. And then also on the hat, should I put the word boo up there? Or should I leave it as is with the flowers? So Sarah, no, no sparkly, shiny boo. That's what I was thinking as well. It just kind of depends on the person. I like it without it because I took all the sparkly stuff off earlier too. And I could always use this on a different, on a different craft. I also have the little buckle but with these I don't really care how the buckle looks on it should I put do you think I should put a flower in the branches or does that look good as is that's how it looks as is and then if I added the, the flower, or the spider, or I could put him like up here and have a black one, there'll be one dangling. So if you think it should be in the branches, put in the branches, or on the hat, put on the hat. drive me crazy. So Sarah, is that yes for spider in the branches? Okay. No, kitty. Miss Kitty came in and she is trying to play. And I love how there is no right or wrong way of doing this. And you get, you get other inspirations as you're working on one. That's what happened with this last night because I was taking off the form or taking off all that stuff. And I thought, oh my goodness, I could cut all that center part out in order to do a dream catcher. So I thought, well, I'm going to try cutting it with my scissors. And my scissors 
I was able to get some of it, but not all of it. So I ended up using my little wire snippers. And it worked out so good. I cannot wait to do this craft too. So I'm going to turn this around. Look how cute that is. Isn't he looking adorable? Should I do two spiders or one in his beard? And for the spider dangling from the hat, I'm just taking a white piece of yarn, just a regular piece of yarn. I'm gonna tie a knot on the top just because that's what I'm gonna use to hold it down with that glue. I'm gonna glue this knot down on the back. And then I'll have that dangling. I have to figure out how far I want it to dangle. And then I'll tie another knot where I want my spider to, to hang. And I think for the spider to hang from the hat, I'm just going to do one of these black ones. Because I kind of, I think I might end up doing two of these in the beard, one of each color. I'm so glad all of you have time to watch me. And I'm gonna put this knot. So I'm gonna glue the knot in the bottom of the spider. Because I believe that's where their webs come out of is their their bottom so I know it should be a lot thinner but I want to be able to see it so this one's gonna be a overachiever Okay, then temporarily I'm going to flip him over. And right on the tip there, I'm going to put some glue. And I'm going to make sure that's where he is going to fall from. Make sure he's facing forward. feeling he's probably going to spin, so maybe I should tack him down. I think I should tack him down so he doesn't spin backwards. Like maybe just his legs. Because I have a feeling he's going to try to 
try to hide on me. I think I might. Are you seeing that? I think he's turning out so cute. I'm glad you guys like him. I had fun doing that other one. And I thought, oh my goodness, this could work. So I only put glue on three of his legs. And I'm just going to tack in there. So he's not fully on the hat. He still looks like he's dangling. What do you guys think so far? I still have to add the, the spiders to his beard yet. But this guy is almost done. And it hasn't, it hasn't been that long. It's a pretty simple craft. Now I just have to decide where I want the spiders in the beard. And I tell you, the the phone doesn't do it justice. It looks so much better in person and up close. Cause then you see all the little the little details that can be hidden in the pictures. This is a good spot for that one. Then I might go him in slightly higher. Then he'll go here. Oh, thank you, Christine. You know, I just love to craft and I love watching other people's crafting videos. And this just kind of happened by accident to where I would video all of mine, all of my ideas. I was really worried and nervous because I'm not really good at public speaking or I always lose what all I'm going to say. So I was really nervous with my lives, but once I did my first one, it just kind of blew everything out of the water. And I'm like, you know, I can do this. <laughs> as long as somebody's wanting to see it. And I'll just talk to my phone. It's, <laughs> I mean, I know you guys are there. But I mean, it's not like it's a big room full of people. So I don't get as nervous. And I'm really glad that I see your guys' feedback. Because that helps me too. It's just one thing that I really wanted to try growing a little bit. And doing something outside of my comfort level so I think with these lives it's helping me quite a bit and I hope it inspires some of you guys you know if if you think oh I can't do that you know give it a shot because even if the craft doesn't turn out how you like it some of the best crafts are happy accidents <laughs> Hi, Cass. All right, I'm thinking this is done, but you guys, you guys be the judge. I don't know if I should add anything else. So I have this here. I have the flowers. 
This would look so cute on a wall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love how these gnomes turn out. And I told I told the gal that I could probably make one if she's wanting. Because I do have six and I'm not planning on keeping all of them. Um, I don't know, I might... I'm running out of room, but I'm debating on keeping this one for my dressing room because it goes with my colors. But I don't know, it might be too much for my room. So maybe I'll sell him too. It's not like I'll forget how to make him. And if anything, I can always make another one. And so I did pretty much the same thing with this one. I just didn't do the, do it on video. I wanted to see if I could do it. So after I did this one, I just took pictures as I was doing it and then posted them. And this one I just added beads that I already had. You can't see that there. But I like the effect that something's dangling from the hat, but you don't have to. I mean it even without, it still looks cute. I even tried it with two diff a different flower. And so, it's just very versatile. And then if you didn't want the braids, because he kind of looks like a, a Viking or something, you could do it without the braids. Or even if you wanted to make a silly one. You could even put the braids out. Kind of like Pippi Long Sucking. <laughs> I mean, it, it just depends on what all you're wanting. There's no wrong answers with these crafts. And you know, you could also do uh, football team colors. Like if somebody was a Vikings fan, you could do a purple here with like a yellow yellow flower or whatever it would work or I suppose you could make it into a cowboy but I don't really like cowboys <laughs> that's for another that's for another live though <laughs> but this is the one that inspired me and I wanted to get one of those a, it was a different witch's hat form but my Dollar Tree ran out of those so I thought, well, I'm just going to look and see what all they got. And that's when I ran across these. And I thought, oh, you know what? I can make it work. I'm crafty enough, I think. If not, something will happen that it'll end up being a good craft. And then if you didn't want to do these forms, you could even have I'll show you these little mirrors you can put flowers or whatever on the mirrors I got these at a yard sale years and years ago and I had them hanging on my wall and I ended up taking them off the wall but even with this you could make this into a spider web in the center or a dream catcher and then put you know witchy stuff and spiders and and all that around the the edge and somewhere down the road um, I will also want to use some of the signs that they have at the Dollar Tree they had one Oh, it had this really cute saying, and it had a circle of flowers on it, but it was a square sign. And I thought, I could glue one of those forms on top of that sign, so that sign is in the center. And then I could do my flowery wreath around the outside of it. So, one of these days, maybe I'll do that, that in a craft. I've got so many ideas. I recommend it. if you start crafting write everything down in a notebook 
any kind of idea you have, stop what you're doing, write it down. That way later on you can go back to it. I've already started what all I want to do on lives. Um, I'll probably end up doing one that shows different stitches in crocheting. I also want to do one with that ear extender. And then of course I've got this one here. So as long as you guys will watch the lives or want to want me to do something, go ahead and let me know that too. Give me ideas. I can put it on my phone, Auntie, but then I forget to look in there. But if I have a notebook that's sitting on my table, I always thumb through it. Especially if I forget it's in there and I have to write down a number or something, I'll flip through. Oh yeah, I forgot I was wanting to do that. <laughs> So, in this back here, this is what I'm working on for my grandkids. And it's just one of those, those wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm putting dream catchers in the center. And then with the same fuzzy yarn, it's fuzzy, um, I'm going to make three tassels and dang dangle them from there. And then I'll probably put a little bit of beads in the center too, just because it adds a little bit of personal touch. But I've got several, several of them already going. This one's Joy's. I still have to embellish the, the center here and put the stuff on there. I might even put some flowers or something, something that they like. Then this one is for Maddox. He likes purple. The blue one is Echoes. Her favorite color is blue. This kind of like a mint green. That's for Izzy. And then I'm going to do one with this yarn. It's like a teal chunky. That one's going to be for Rainy. So all of the kids will have their own dream catcher to hang on their wall in their favorite colors. So if you guys have any ideas that you want to see me do just let me know and I'll see if I can do it if I don't know how I will research it and I'll show you this again so I have I have this I figured it would look like a little spider web but I wanted it to have some kind of I didn't want it to be too thin so there's my do you think I should have done another flower with another eyeball, or is the is one plenty? I didn't want to overdo it. So loving my shelf. I'm so glad I put that there. <laughs> Auntie, did you see this one? This is one of my first ones that I did. And when I have them side by side, I just love how they're different, but they still have personality. And in a way, in a way, I kind of, if I did a silly one, I would probably put a, one of these flowers here and another flower here so he has eyeballs. <laughs> Bye, Danny. I love you. I'll tune in later.
and the cleanup from it is not that bad either. But I still have lots of flowers left from the from the things of it. I've got spiders left, so I can use those for for other crafts. Also, I saved all of that shiny sparkly stuff. I could actually weave this and make it into a spider. Auntie, Danny's gonna frost those cakes, or one of them at least, because she has one that's due tomorrow. So she's gonna make the the whipped cream topping or whatever, and she's gonna decorate it. I'll show you what I was meaning by if I wanted to be silly. <laughs> He could look like he has eyes. <laughs> I like him though this way with his eyes hidden. I think they have a little bit more personality. I could see one of the kids though doing that just to be silly. Everything but the yarn is from the Dollar Tree. The flowers, the spiders, and the little twig-looking things. Those all came in one clump of flowers. Um, one mop head. One hat form. And then the yarn I already had. I suppose you could use pretty much anything. Um, I just didn't want the sparkly. And I guess you probably could have, I could have left it. I mean, he would have looked like this. I could have left it if I wanted to. And then add add flowers to it. I just didn't want it shiny. I wanted it to be more matted look, I guess. Once I have all six of these done, I'll probably gift them out or sell them. Same with some of my dream catchers because I have plenty of forms up here. So the dream catcher wreaths, I'll probably do some of those and probably gift them away for birthdays, Christmas, whatever. And then, uh, or if somebody wants to purchase one, that's fine too. But boy, crafting, the ideas are endless. And I'm, I'm on YouTube looking at stuff and scrolling through Facebook all the time to where I get inspired. Donna, thank you. Auntie, thank you. And I really love putting them together. It doesn't take long. It only, it only takes a little bit, you know. You can get, I like the, the crafts that can be done in the same night. These take a little bit longer, but I can do, you know, several dream catcher centers in one night. And I can wrap the form, you know, I can do several of those in one night. But I like the ones that are done fast because I like to see the results. If it if it's gonna take me too long, I get pooped out. I don't I don't like waiting that long. But boy, I'm so glad that so many people like to see them. And I thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to get off of here, do a little bit of cleanup. Maybe stage my next, 
my next uh, thing. I know I said I'll probably do the ear extenders next, but I'm really thinking it'll probably be this. <laughs> because I want to see how this looks. This has been on my brain. Because that's what I was hoping this would look like underneath. I didn't realize it would have that piece in the center. And I made the comment last night. I still have it. I haven't emptied my trash yet. So I will grab it. This is the center. From that form. And I made the comment last night. This could actually be reused too. If you get a little clay pot and you have it filled, you can put that in there and you can have flowers or plants binding up on there. It would be so cute. So I could have six, well, however many I want to cut out. I want to go buy more of these forms because I they're so versatile. I can use them for more than one craft. If I leave them together, just take the stuff off, I can make these, these gnomes. If I cut the centers out, I can make Dreamcatcher in the center look like spider web. And then I could reuse these for other, other stuff. And I also thought... I could use it for Thanksgiving too because I could kind of wrap this a little bit to where it forms one of those cornucopias and then add little fruity things in there. Oh, it could be used for a sailboat too. So many ideas. I love it. That's what happens when you get bored. Things enter your brain, and you end up getting tons and tons of different ideas. Jot them down, because that's what I'll be doing when I get off of here, too. I will... Ooh, I never thought of a lighthouse, Auntie. Yeah, I think I might keep it. I was going to throw it away, but now I think I might keep it. Good thing I have my bins. Because even though I'm not using this, and I don't really care for this. I don't like the feel of it and the sound of it. It would make really good spiders. So I thought, well, I'll keep it. Just never know. So I have my little catch-all bucket. And I will go through that and see what all I've got. Yeah, maybe I will keep that. I'm a craft hoarder. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I'm a craft hoarder. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would work for Medusa's hair. Good ideas. So maybe I'll get your guys' opinion, too. What should I do next? Should I do this hat with the spider web dream catcher in it or should I crochet the ear extenders what would you like to see have the weekend off. I have a feeling it's, I'm going to be visiting the Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, guys. I was thinking of crocheting um, the little ear extenders for the masks so they don't hurt your ears. Um... I forgot mine at home today, and so that was on my brain because my ears were hurting by the end of the day. 
And I kept thinking, boy, I wish I had my ear extender. Thought, well, maybe I should do a, a live on that sometime. I know a lot of people want to know how to how to make it. And it's just a single single crochet on there. And I figured I could just explain how to make it. Add the buttons. I'll probably end up doing that one sometime soon. And for as many lives as I that I've done so far, I could probably do both of them all in one week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to the lives now. I think I've gotten used to it enough. Oh, and I was talking earlier about these. The mop was attached to this, the mop head. And I just pulled out all the, all the stuff. And it left me with this. And I thought, well, I could glue two of these together so I can put the pole, have a pole on this side and a pole on this side. And then if I get a curtain rod holder, I can hang that. And I could actually hang some of the dream catchers or even some of these from it for display. So I can't throw these away either. And one of my other crafts, I think I'm gonna do live. I end up getting these embroidery hoops. And I've already got people picked out as to who's going to get them. But I'm going to separate them and then put a dream catcher in each one. And so it's going to go pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I'm going to make them like the chakra. I think it's going to turn out really, really cute. But I'll do that on a live as well. I probably won't do the dream catcher part on all of them during the live. I'll probably get some of that done in the prep. So then all that I'll do is connect them. Maybe I'll crochet them all together or I don't know. I'll figure something out. But I've got so many ideas. But I think for tonight I'm done. I'm going to give you a recap of what all I've got. And then I'll probably sign off for the night. Alright, so I'll do the ear extender the next for the next one. It doesn't take long either in order to make it. If you're a beginner crocheter... It will take a little bit because you have to get your stitches um, oh, consistent. That's the word I was looking for. But, but yeah, I'll walk you through it. And if you don't know how to crochet, maybe it'll teach you just a little bit. Maybe it'll inspire you to try. Maybe another time I'll do uh, finger weaving. I taught... I taught the grandkids on how to do that, but I'm going to do a recap, and I think I'm going to get off of here. So this is the one I did the other day. They both take the same, the same amount of time, pretty much, unless you decide to do more embellishments. It can take as long as you want it to. You can add whatever you want to it, but it pretty much is just one mop head one form I only put one flower on this one but I put two on the other that's just like one little bushel for the nose it's one of those little squishy balls that comes in a package of four and then the washcloth that I covered it with that was in a package of four as well all from the Dollar Tree the yarn I ended up getting I had had that already but I ended up buying that from Walmart and the beads 
Just use what you have around the house. Anything can be used. Any old jewelry that you don't that you don't use, you don't like, you don't want, something that's busted, you know, a necklace broken half. Use all the pieces. You can put it on, you can embellish these, or even the sock gnomes. You can embellish those with the jewelry and everything as well. But these take the same the same uh, stuff. I just use different colors. And this one was a holiday theme. Halloween being the next one. I really hope that you guys loved watching this. I loved putting it together. And I thought of this all day today. You can ask the girls I work with. I think I mentioned it several times that I wanted wanted to make it. But I'm going to log off and do some cleanup and get some more stuff organized in my room. Maybe one day I'll have my room how I want it and I'll just video to do a live on how my room looks. I've changed it quite a bit since how it looked before. Hi Abby. I'm just getting ready to log off. I finished finished up on the gnome. It turned out really cute. I told Agatha about it today. I know her favorite holiday is Halloween. I'll show it again just since I know you just logged on. And it didn't take long to do either. If you guys have a glue gun, you and Agatha could actually put this together. Alright guys, well you guys have a great night. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I hope that you watch my next one. I plan on doing the ear extender. Um, maybe I'll do another drawing and give away something. So keep in touch. Keep watching. Check my page often. You never know what I'll put on there. Maybe even one night. I probably won't even post and I'll just end up live now that I'm addicted to these. So just keep watching. Thank you so much for watching me. I, I really enjoyed it. Have a good night.